Yet another generation of true wireless earphones is arriving at Minidisc, and first to the party is Bang & Olufsen with the third generation E8. The new version comes with a few external and internal changes, so let's start with the design. If you have smaller ears, the welcome news is that the third generation E8 is noticeably smaller than the previous generation and smaller than other competitors like the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless or the Sony WF-1000 XM3. Another change you might notice if you look carefully is the addition of an extra microphone on each earpiece, bringing up the total to four microphones for enhanced core quality. Note that despite the extra microphones, the third generation E8 still does not support active noise cancelling. We guess this is something left for the E8 version 4. Now as far as internal updates to the E8 go, this is the first product in the store with Bluetooth version 5.1, which promises faster Bluetooth handshaking when pairing with compatible devices. Battery life has been extended to a very usable 7 hours from the earpieces and another 28 hours of charge from the case. Now just like the version 2, version 3 of the E8 supports wireless charging via the charging case, and Bang & Olufsen have made their very own fancy charging pad available if you want to be matchy-matchy, but any Qi wireless charging pad should be compatible. We're also happy to report that the sound has been retuned. Now personally, I was never the biggest fan of the first versions of the E8 because I found the stock sound, while clear, could take on a brittle and harsh quality with many tracks. This has been cleaned up with the version 3, along with an increase in the weight and density of the lower bass notes. Now I think this is a more balanced and pleasant tuning, which still sounds more defined and clearer than the thicker sound of alternatives like the Sony WF-1000XM3. But if you don't agree with me, you can use BNO's EQ app to tune things to your taste. Now I've always felt that the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless offers the best sound quality that we've heard in the True Wireless segment and I still think that holds true compared to the third generation BNO E8. Both earphones have a pleasant sound signature, but I still find that the Sennheiser has better note timbre and instrument separation. To me, things just sound more natural and realistic on the Sennheiser, and there's a better sense of layering and detail with all the different instruments in the same track. In comparison, the E8 has a slightly flatter, more artificial sound that compresses things together, a congested quality it shares with the Sony. Please note that we do our testing with both AAC and Aptex devices. Now, even though the E8 is not my favorite for sound quality, it's still a close second, and the new model comes with enough improvements in comfort, connectivity, and battery life that it's the one I recommend most as an overall package. Of course, you'll have to check back in with us when the next generation Sennheiser Momentum arrives. Until then, this is Lachlan for Minidisc TV, and we'll see you next time.